Hi everyone, so here we are. We've put in our guidelines for where the floor is and we've raised the floor. So now we're gonna add in the windows and you're gonna to need to be looking at some other documents for this. So you'll need to look at the Ben Jim design packet. This is the packet that has the side views and also the window and door schedule. I've also included a doc that has this blown up so you can see it and also so that you can understand how the sizes work and how things correspond to the floor plan. So we're going to be putting our windows in or at least putting in where they're going to go and we're going to do that by first laying it out with guidelines and then going in and making the windows and doors are going to go and then we're going to push and pull them in and out to make those holes into the walls. So um, you'll see here that the windows have uh, the window symbols and how many of each of them are located on the project. And then these are the sizes. Keep in mind that the sizes on the left hand side are the width and the sizes on the right hand side are the height. And you'll see that they're all different but that they all correspond to uh, a particular letter in a box and that's the window notation. Um, you'll note here that in the C window there are five of them and they are four feet four inches wide by three feet seven inches tall. So uh, we're going to be making the holes with the guidelines these sizes. So you're going to be working a lot in between uh, or between the two the floor plan and the window and door schedule blow up that I gave you. In order to locate where these where the guidelines should go we need to also note that the windows are measured from the extension line which is this line coming across to the window and door dimension but that the extension line is pulled from the center of the windows itself so we're going to have to uh, mark with our guidelines where the center of the window is in relation to the corners of the building and then we're going to have to split the window width dimension and add that to either side and I'm going to demonstrate that right now and what you'll see here is that the corner dimension right here on the window and door dimension is nine feet or the extension line comes down to from nine feet from the corner to the middle of this window and then seven feet from the other corner to the middle of the window. So we're going to mark that first and so if I come over here I can take the guideline tool and I'm going to pull that guideline seven feet from the front of the building and I'm just going to type that in because that way I know that it's there. And if I go to my window drawing here and we also can note that this is a B window. That's important to know. And the B window is right here and there are two of them and it is six feet four inches wide by three foot seven inches tall. So I'm going to mark that down because I'm going to need to remember that six foot four inches and so I can come back here over to my uh, over to my center line here and obviously half of six feet four inches would be three feet two inches right if I measured it in half so I'm just gonna pull another guideline from there from the center and type three foot space two inches because that's the half and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side three foot two inches. So now if I were to take a guideline and I were to pull it all the way across you can see down in the left hand corner here that uh, sorry in the right hand corner that the whole window width matches six foot four. Now the other thing that we also need to do is we need to observe what we see in the elevations and to do that we're going to need to go back to our packet and we're going to need to look at sort of how these windows are located height wise. So what I want you to do is look at the top of the window and you can see that the bottoms of the window are at different heights particularly on this side of the building but one thing you do see that's common is that the tops of the window all align with the top of the doors and if you look at 
all of them going across. That's pretty much true for every one of the elevations. And so this is where our, obser our observational skills need to come into play. And we also know that if we go to our door schedule, the door heights, if you notice here, are all the same. They're all six foot eight inches. So if we know that the tops of the windows align with the tops of the doors, then we can go over here to our model and we can assume that the height or where everything will align is going to be six foot eight inches. So I'm just going to pull a guideline from the bottom of where my floor is up six foot eight inches and that gives me where the top of my window needs to be. So that's at this point that's probably a good thing to do to go around and start to pull up your guidelines.